<coughs> Alright guys, so I got back at it today. I actually ended up having to work late, so I didn't really get a whole lot done tonight. I just finished blocking it out. So it's uh, good enough. I'm just going to shoot with some primer. Uh, I still have a fair bit of work to do in here. This is just where I welded it, so I just ground it down. So I'll have to get in there and touch that up, do a little bit more uh, body work to it, and then obviously finish up the sill. And then I got a lot of work to do underneath. So I just wanted to put some uh, paint on it, just to prevent from rusting and stuff like that. So I'll do that next. I'll show you what it looks like. There we have it. Just a quick coat. Nothing too crazy. I didn't go down at the silks, obviously. I still got to do some body work and screwing around there. But uh, yeah, it's basically there. It worked out pretty good. Good enough for primer anyways. It still, uh, still needs lots of love. But I want to get on to other things. So I'll leave it like that. Hopefully I'll finish up the uh, door and the sill tomorrow. And then uh, I get to get under the car and start grinding away and uh, changing all those braces. So that'll be for some... Uh, fun for me and I'm sure terrible video for you guys all right I got the car lifted up nice and high about these the jack stands because the next thing I'll be doing uh start work underneath which is terrible finishing up the sill and then I got those braces and whatnot but the last thing I wanted to do is I want to put this inner structure in for the uh, window and all that this one's real rusted so I'm gonna have to chop a bunch out the big problem I'm gonna have the window channel it's rotted out here. There should be a little wheel that obviously goes up and down. It's twisted and bent and rusty and everything. So I'm going to try and uh, I've got this spare piece. And then I have the back door, spare back door, which I'm hoping is going to have some rollers and some stuff off that. So I'm going to dissect that door, see what I can get out of it. And hopefully I can, I don't know, keep parts of this and something else and make it all work. So I'll get to chopping that out and show you how it works. Here's where I ended up. Instead of trying to take this door apart all nicely, I actually ended up just zip cutting in half. These four door doors just are worth nothing. I tried selling them for a while on the internet. Nobody wanted them. I actually have two complete sets, so this one gets chopped up. And actually, uh, surprise a little benefit here, the uh, window channel on this one's actually pretty good. So hopefully on the other doors, it'll be good as well, because the kit's pretty expensive. And uh, I really just want to do the back. This is the one I'm going to be working with. It's all tore up, and the other side's not any better. So I'm thinking hopefully a four-door will be enough just to kind of do the little lip around. Save me a few bucks and then the window will go up and down nice and won't rattle anyways. So uh, I took off the regular piece. So all I'm really going to use is these little wheels. <clears throat> On this one, obviously, it's kind of a bit of a different setup there. You can see that's what it would have had over here, which is missing. So I'm going to have to chop this off. And I'll probably end up replacing this section anyways because it's brought it away. But ultimately, these little wheels fit in there, go up and down. Pretty simple. So, I'll take this apart. I guess I'll measure out, see how long it is. And see if I can straighten it, put a few pieces into what I gotta do. And put it back together. So I'll get working on that. Show you guys how it turns out. Alright guys. So I managed to get this uh, piece straightened out in the vise there. You can see right there, it's got a pretty bad kink the whole way around. It's all broken. So, I'm going to try and work on that, and then here you can see just how rotted out it is. Luckily, I have a spare one off the four-door, so I'll replace one section right there. And then over here, it's in a funny spot where it's zapped in there. I'm thinking I might just cut a few of the sides off, lay it over, a little bit of extra structure there. It's got lots of room inside, and it should be fine, so... I'm going to wire wheel this up, get it cleaned up, chop that up, and start cutting these, and then I'll uh, put it in the vise and show you it turned out. Alright guys, here's where I ended up. I got that piece well as best as I can. It's got a bit of a wow in it but I'll hammer that out after so I'm going to work on this piece all I did I took a section like that, I cut it right down the center and then split it in half 
So what I'm going to end up with is two pieces like that, then I just kind of ground them down a little bit on the wheel. I plan on just putting one on each side. Kind of like this. I'll weld that all on both sides. It'll go kind of halfway around. I should be able to join those up. And then it'll be uh, <laughs> good as new, I guess. So I'll get to that show you how it works out. Well, it's not the prettiest thing I've ever made. But it's all back together. Seems like it should work. I got this side piece on for some bracing. I hammered it out so its channel is back. I mean, it's still a little rusty once the window's in there. No one will ever know. So now I just have to modify this side to put some sort of a little nylon wheel on it so it goes up and down the track. We'll go back to the door, see what fits, go from there. All right, guys, I got the piece uh, test fit on there. So I gave it a quick grease and all that. So you can see it kind of goes up and down a little bit. Now, obviously, without the front piece, it's going to get all bound up and whatnot. That's where this piece is going to come in. This is what I chopped off. So I measured it uh, off the good door. The center of the wheel is about an uh, inch and three quarters back. And then it's about an inch and a half down. So it's probably going to be about the same as that one. So once I do that, that should put it where it should be. And the track should all match. So I'll take this all apart. Give it a quick tack weld on, make sure it's going to be good, and then uh, finish welding all together. I'll show you how it all works. All right, well, here it is all together. Goes up and down. It's kind of hard to operate this thing with only one hand, but that's the end of it. This is one of those projects that took me a full day just to make it work. So, basically, going to call for a night. I'll probably just end up chopping out uh, some of the rust I'm not going to use here. And then I can start test fitting the car either later on tonight after dinner or tomorrow. So that's where I'm going to leave for today. All right, here's where I ended up uh, last night. I just trimmed out all the rust and whatnot out of the panel. I got the regular all together and lubed up, ready to go. So the next thing I'm going to do now is in here. I want to fill in the, or I cut out of the wheel tub there, which is different on a two-door and a four-door. And some sort of brace across there to the panel. What I'm going to use is this, uh, that's a front inner fender I took out of the car actually. And it's got about the right curve, so I'll probably use that. And in the back there, a piece of rusty metal, that's the old roof off the two-door. So I'm sure I'll have enough material in there. I can fill that in, kind of give it a quick grind, seam seal it. And then I got to work up in there. It's kind of hard to show. But ultimately, all this metal here. Uh, I had to trim it all up and stuff like that because on the uh, two-door, the back of the window regular actually fits kind of back in the trunk area. I don't know if it's the same on a two-door and a four-door. Maybe the back seat's a little different. But it's got to sneak back there and weld it all in, and I ended up, you know, cutting all this side out and everything. So should be able to get to that. And then once that's in, start testing this panel. So it should go a lot uh, faster. So I'll get that all uh, together and show you guys how it turned out. All right, guys, so I got this piece in, attached a little piece of the floor there. I'm not going to go too crazy on it, put a few welds in. These old ones, you can actually see this is the quarter. This is actually just a piece of uh, rubber. So the uh, the inner wheel wells aren't even uh, attached to the actual fender anyway, which is kind of crazy. But uh, ground down the leading edge there. Obviously around there, we're going to weld it, and then across the bottom. i got to probably make a piece yet because there's a chopped bunch of rust out. In the corner, I chopped a bunch out, <clears throat> kept a little piece so I can put it back in. Pretty simple there. And then uh, this here. See, this is the problem. This has to actually tuck in the back there. So you end up kind of cutting out a little bit more metal than you want, and then it still has to go back. But overall, it should fit. And then you can see the, the gap there. I got a fill because that was all rotted. So. I'll end up uh, painting the inside black, seam sealing it, letting that dry overnight, and then I'll tomorrow start test fitting that. And once I get the uh, the window to go up and down and that looks all good, then I'll pull the window out. I can fill it all in, make a little brace at the back, like I did over there. You can hardly tell once you seam seal it and paint it black. And then again, once you have the, uh, the door panel on and the little trim and stuff, you'll never be able to tell what it's going to look like. So hopefully I'll Knock that out tomorrow. I think it's working on uh, underneath the car with some 
bracing and stuff like that. I got a new set of motor mounts or uh, body mounts, sorry. So I should be able to get that all together. Should work out good. So I'll paint this seam seal it, show you how it looks, and then we'll call it for the night. All right, guys, there it is. Quick coat of paint, let it dry, it'll flatten out, it'll look fine. And again, all this work you'll never ever see. So that's what it's going to look like when it's all done. So I'll get working on that tomorrow. I'll let this dry overnight. And uh, hopefully test with the window. And hopefully this time it'll go a little quicker. Because I chopped it a lot more material to start. The other one was back and forth a thousand times. So we'll see you tomorrow. See what goes. Alright guys. So I'll let this dry overnight. Kind of see how it's going to look. Good enough to be uh, hidden behind another panel, as far as I'm concerned. So now that that's done, I uh, ground down kind of where the other panel is going to go. I left the floor open. This is what I'm going to work on next. So I gave it a quick uh, <coughs> grind on the corners around the wheel tub as best I could. So I'm going to fit that in, give it a few tack welds, and then of course go back to test fitting the window. And hopefully that'll fit good. And I'll show you how that works out. And then once that's all done, I can burn it all in. Shouldn't be too much work. Much like that one, I've already done it once, so second time around it's much easier. So I'll let you know how it goes uh, a few seconds here. All right, there we have it. Glass is in. Surprisingly enough, it actually fit first try. Just standing here. So it worked out pretty good. I just test fit, test fit that there. Uh, but overall, so it's in, it's just kind of sitting in there it's not glued in or anything but when follow the channel we're pretty good up and down works decent so now I gotta just weld in I gotta make a, a piece here and actually push it over a little bit and I just got it you can see where it's all somewhat lined up there and tack welded in I gotta figure something out back here again this one was so rotted it was all rusty so I just cut it all out I thought I'd start fresh so I have to join there to there, just like on that side. I actually got to drop it down a little bit. But overall, the glass fits, which is nice. And once I get the glass out, a little notch in here, I want to just kind of smooth this out so it looks nice. Again, on the uh, on the proper two door, you can see the difference here. There is uh, there's nothing right there. Which this one had a little brace in there. So once I get that all cleaned up. It'll look basically the same, window will go up and down no problem, and then once I get the channel in, and then put on the little molding there or whatever, hold it nice, and especially since this window is probably never ever going to go up and down, it's probably a little bit overkill, but might as well do it now while it's all apart, and it'll be a proper two-door. So I'll get back to uh, welding and all that stuff, and before I get it all primered up and everything, I'll uh, show you guys how it turned out. Alright, here we go. I got it on, seam sealed it in there. Pretty simple. I ended up using, uh, that's off the, uh, the the quarter panel patch uh, there, so I just used that to make a little piece to join it all together. Worked out pretty good. Now obviously I have this uh, gap at the bottom here that I gotta fill in. So I cut a strip out of the roof from the old two door. It just keeps on giving that thing. So I'll trim it up, you know, put it down there, weld it to the floor, weld it to the, where the metal is good up there. Give it a few tack welds, seam seal it, paint it black, and I'm done. So, shouldn't be too bad. The rest of it looks like it should go pretty good. The window up and down, no problem. The window trim, like the channel there, is pretty rough. So, I'm going to see if I can steal some of the other doors and make it work. But otherwise, weld a little piece on the back there once I get it all back together. Put the trim on. Never know. So, I'll work on the bottom, show you guys how it turned out. Alright, there we have it. It's all in, done, bottom piece, tacked it in, a little bit of seam sealer, good enough. I know I kind of went through this one pretty quick, but ultimately it's the exact same as the other side, so I don't want to bore you guys too bad. So that's that, I'll peel the door handle off, <clears throat> give it a quick shot of black paint, I think I'll call it for tonight. And then, uh, you know, a little bit of cleaning up tomorrow, I guess I'll probably finish up this sill. I'll put that little coat of fiberglass over the metal. And then I guess I'm going to start working underneath the car, which is kind of... Uh, ugly i'm not really looking forward to that but really everything up top is done so give it a shot of paint let it dry i'll show you guys tomorrow how it turned out i'll probably be under the car for uh for a few days so see you guys later